Okay, uh, which of the following is the most likely cause of this patient's vision loss? A 65-year-old man with a history of hypertension and smoking presents the emergency room with sudden painless vision loss in his left eye that occurred uh, or started an hour ago. On examination, the left eye sponges reveals a pale retina and a cherry red spot on the macula. Um, choices, let's see, central renal artery occlusion. Renal so I don't think that it would be retinal detachment because there's no sign of trauma. Yeah. It seems like it is more chronic, uh, like a consequence of a chronic condition because he mentions um, hypertension and smoking in the medical history as well. Um, so I also don't think it's hemorrhage. There's no, well, yeah, there's not necessarily an indication of that. Okay. Now, different types of occlusion and optic neuritis. Um, so which one of these is like more associated with hypertension and smoking? Okay. So far you can do this question really good, right? I, I, I like how you're talking about acute and chronic. I talk, and you're also talking about associations or risk factors, right? This is how I want you to be thinking. Okay. okay. So good so far. So talk to me kind of what is, um, what's your gut answer choice here? Probably A or central retinal artery occlusion. Okay, good. Okay. Final answer. Yeah, I'll stick with it. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. The way you worked that question. So I'm going to, you know, I'm all about kind of using this uh, diagram for kind of vessels, right? Mm -hmm. Arterial, um, capillary, venous system. And obviously the capillary side is kind of where your eyeball is going to be, right? If your eye is here, right? So if you have a venous, right? Venous occlusion, then it's going to be, it's probably going to be pretty congested and painful, right? for the most part, right? And um, it's probably gonna swell, but they don't mention stuff like that. Optic neuritis, do you think that hurts? Yes. That probably hurts, right? You know, inflammation, right? And so mm -hmm. usually for the most part, if they are, you know, they have hypertension smoking, if you have some kind of arterial clot right here, um, they usually call it sudden painless, usually older patients. So it fits kind of all the, the diagnostic criteria. okay? And if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, MS, optic neuritis is usually multiple sclerosis. So they, right. they might give you a, um, a little bit of a hint by saying, oh, this patient has a history of uh, multiple sclerosis if it's optic neuritis. And like you said, you know, retinal detachment, more like trauma. Vitreous is um, you get sudden painless vision loss with floaters and usually okay. associated with um, diabetic retinopathy or retinal tears. So um, things to think about, right? Associations. I want you to keep thinking about risk factors and associations. Okay.